Tis the season, everyone. I am back. My name is Erin Gifford. I love teaching people how to use Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, um, and today is no exception. And today is also one of the most fun and, believe it or not, easiest little tips and tricks that I have for you. Now, I live in Wisconsin, and right now it is um, just the beginning of winter. We are actually in a winter storm watch, um, hence the idea for this tutorial. I am going to show you how easy it is to apply a snow overlay to your Photoshop image. So, uh, look below in the links of this YouTube video and I will link the <clears throat> give you a link to the Dropbox folder where I keep my overlays and you can use these but feel free to search Google for other ones but okay we're just gonna dive right in because it's so easy as you can see this is a photograph that I took of a cute little family a couple years ago and I love that there's snow on the ground but what would give it the best little unique touch is if there was actually some snowflakes falling um, which if you're a photographer you know how incredibly hard that is to actually capture uh, at a photo shoot but lucky for us it's just as easy or 100 times easier to do that in Photoshop so start with your original photo and then go to the link below this video to download the overlays and then you are going to open up your overlay into Photoshop and actually so I have five of them and I'm going to open up this overlay number four because that other one, the snowflakes, I think were just too big. So once I have my overlay open, I'm going to do a control or an Apple A to select all of them. And then you're going to copy it. So control C. And then you're going to go back to your original. And you're going to do a control V as in Victor to paste the overlay. And I know this is when everybody gets scared, like, oh, where'd my photo go? But if you look over to um, your layer palette, you will see that your overlay is on layer one and it's above your background. So that's why you're not seeing your photo, <clears throat> but it is actually still there. And you want to make sure that your overlay layer is selected. So on this tutorial, it's layer one. And okay, you guys, this is the secret sauce. This is how easy it is. All you have to do is go up here where it says normal because this is your blend mode. Um, and you're going to click on the little arrow and you're going to change it to screen. And look, there is your overlay. So basically when you hit that blend mode, everything that's black drops out. Oops. Okay, so everything that's dark or black in this overlay drops out and it leaves only the white. So <clears throat> now you can see that we went from a somewhat, you know, it's cute, it's an awesome photo, but we just added a little pizzazz to it. So that is the trick that I have for you today. I hope you enjoy it. Um, my blessings to anyone else who is uh, just starting out the winter months because I know it's hard, but um, happy holiday season and I would love to connect with you. So make sure to drop me a comment or a new idea for a tutorial, something you're stuck on, anything like that would be great. Have a great day.